Lord, uh, distinguished guests. Uh, it took me about six or seven years to walk into a convent uh, function without breaking into a cold sweat. And then I uh, also left about three years later. So um, it's actually uh, the whole life membership concept. Uh, I always feel a little bit embarrassed when uh, someone like myself um, is, uh, it's, a, it's an honour that I, uh, that I uh, am very pleased to accept, but it's the type of people who, uh, who devote so much of their, uh, their life um, to a football club sometimes, rather than uh, those of us who really get paid to work at our hobby. Um, and, uh, and we uh, tend to, if you're involved with football for a long time, the clubs that you're so much part of your being uh, for a period of your life become an opposition for another part of your life. So. I guess from this point of view, we can just hop back in the time capsule um, a fair few years. Uh, my, uh, my time at, uh, at Collingwood was uh, uh, 10 of the most stimulating and exciting years. Um, we were fortunate enough to have our window of opportunity for a few years there from maybe 98 to, to 90, uh, 92. So uh, I get my years mixed up from 88, of course, to 92. For about five years, we were able to win the one premiership. Uh, I always think that uh, uh, clubs last forever, individuals are just transitory through the club uh, through the club system. So the time that uh, that I spent at Collingwood, the uh, final rip with the playing part finished when Scott Burns retired. Uh, he was the last player that played in 1995 when I was uh, still coach. But uh, the uh, the club um, is in a magnificent position um, for those with long memories. If you can remember back at the beginning of 1986, uh, when the club was almost bankrupt, almost closed its doors, and can you imagine that the chairman, the coach, and the chief executive officer all changed after round three of 1986. So the, the club has thrived enormously since then. The chairman that I was involved with, of course, Alan McAllister, I saw Alan at the airport, just coincidentally on, uh, on Sunday when I was coming down from uh, Brisbane, we arrived at the uh, same time he'd been on holidays, and uh, Alan was a fantastic chap. <coughs> One thing that sticks in my mind over and over again is he used to say, Lee, whatever you um, uh, think of all the facts, assess all the information, but keep doing what you think is right. So that's the kind of support uh, that, I, that I got from Alan McAllister. And that he was one of those people I hope that Alan was already a life member of the club because the time that he gave in the decade or so that I was coach uh, was just magnificent. So again, all I can do, Ed and the board, just thank you so much for this honour and this privilege. Uh, as I say, uh, it's always strange when uh, when Collingwood to me, uh, you feel like a different person. I used the uh, term schizophrenic once to uh, to talk about my football involvement, being so heavily involved with clubs, and then again, as I say, the oppositions at other stage of your life. And I got a letter of protest from the Schizophrenic Association of Australia. So, uh, I won't use the term, but I think you know what I mean. Sometimes it's uh, like a different person when you think back at the time that you spend at the different clubs. But uh, this round, uh, the, uh, the first Anzac Day game here, just briefly, I, I can always remember the day that we decided to get a bus to the ground. We arrived at Brunton Avenue, and there was crowds everywhere, and uh, thought the gates must have opened. I remember walking into the ground and the ground was full. There's 90,000 people sitting there an hour, hour and a half before the game, uh, just waiting uh, for the game to start. So the excitement that Collingwood generates by being able to play big venues in front of really big crowds so often, and of course the Anzac Day game is now the, the, such a, uh, uh, a great annual event in the football calendar. So I uh, thank you all uh, for the time. Good to see some of the, uh, some of the faces that were still there in my time, one thing certainly football, if you don't get paid much, you keep your job forever.